Facebook lovers, book readers, book friends. It's me, Rashonda, bringing you this week's book review of Legion of Kings by Danielle James. I know it's been a minute since I brought you a review, but have no fear. I am back and I am ready to bring you all of the books. Actually, I have been reading a lot of books, a lot of series, and they're not finished. And so I did not want to constantly bring you reviews about series that was still in process because I know a lot of people are like, well, I only want to read the series when it's done. And I get that, but there are so many great books that are out there that is happening. And I was like, wow, yeah, let me, let me see if I can find some other non-series books that I can read that I can recommend to my people. And I have finally found one. The Legion of Kings by Danielle James. Now, if you're not familiar with Danielle James, let me just preface you with this. Danielle James writes the most gritty, sometimes perplexing, sometimes infuriating, sometimes funny, but all the time amazing books. She has a way of writing stories where you actually cheer for the bad guy. And I love it actually. She's she's brilliant with that. So what is Legion of Kings about? Legion of Kings is about four kings. These four brothers, King, Sumo, Truck, and Pretty Boy. They were all young, young boys that grew up in uh, this group home together. They were in the foster care system. Um, they were not adopted, so they basically aged out through the system, but they became brothers because they were there together. And King, who is the leader of the group, decided that, hey, you ain't gonna give us what we want. We'll just take it. And he started the Legion of Kings as his own brotherhood, as his own family. And so that all of those little boys in, that were in the system or out in the streets that were starving and nobody cared for them, they had a way to have family. But don't, don't get it twisted. It, it's not altruistic, not at all. They were or are a bunch of hoodlums. They are a bunch of thieves, killers, crooks. They did not give a damn. If they wanted it, they were taking it. And if you got in their way, then bang, bang, pow, pow. And they kept it moving. There was no remorse. There was no shame. There was no type of empathy about what they did. You know, hey, either you you feared the, king, the, the Legion or you get ran over by the Legion. They had a brotherhood where basically, hey, if they ate, all the little kings under them ate. And so their little gang of about 50 something young men, you know, they were on the up and come up and they were a force to be reckoned with. Um, because again, they didn't care. You get in the way, you get, you, you get cut down. And so King had this plan to rob some banks so they could get some money and then they were going to figure out how to clean it and make it legit so they could have legit businesses because he recognized that, hey, <laughs> uh, you can't just be out in these streets with all this cash like this. This is not how this works. He was actually really kind of smart. <sighs> King. So he goes to uh, case this bank, you know, to see where the camera's at and the, you know, the little distress button and all that stuff. And he comes across Jupiter, Jupiter Gray. Jupiter is a no holds barred, pop off at the mouth, will cut you down and not feel any type of way about it whatsoever type of person. She did not give a damn about your feelings. She did not care who you were. You got what you got. She said what she said. She was also a thief. Yeah. So here we are. We got, we got, we have five sets of people that are all bad guys. And 
King goes into Scope the Bank. He comes across Jupiter. Jupiter pops off at the mouth and he was like, oh, <laughs> this bitch gonna get it. And I was like, ooh, girl. Jupiter did not care. She was like, whatever, dude. Whatever. If you gonna do it, do it. So they cross paths. Some things happen. And then Jupiter invades their spot. She figure out who they are and she figure out where they meet up at. And she went and invades the spot and was basically like, you gonna put me in on this whole bank robbing business or else. And I'm like, how you just gonna walk up on four gangsters and like demand to be put in on it or else? And surprisingly, they didn't kill her. Um, which starts to show you where the problem is gonna be in the book. Because they were a brotherhood. There were no women allowed in the brotherhood, in the Legion of Kings. You know, they were loyal to themselves. They weren't loyal to the bitches. And so as King really starts to feel Jupiter and like pick her brain about stuff, he recognizes in her the same thing that's in him. They are both, both looking for family. They are both wanting that unconditional love and acceptance, but they just don't know how to verbalize it. They don't know how to say it. They don't know how to get it because they never had it. They never had love, unconditional love shown to them. They never had that family. So they both want it, but they don't know how to, how to get it for themselves without all the drama, without all the foolishness, without all the chaos. And as Jupiter and King start to get closer things start spiraling out of control and a lot of bad things happen and i may have shed a the tear two when a certain character uh got killed because it, i wasn't expecting it and i was just like come on what i loved about this book was that there was really and truly when you think of redemption when you think about you know characters like you're reading they're the bad guys and then they have the aha moment and you want everything to go well you want them to be you know remorseful or show some type of demonstration of like yeah we get that we were bad people and now we're good you don't get that you don't get that with this story what you get is that these characters know that they are extremely messed up but because they are looking for that thing and they find it with each other, you're kind of like, huh? But then at the same time, I'm like, King, why you let her up in the crew? King, shoot her. King, why, why are you beefing? Like, ah, oh, I was like, I was in such a, a, a conflict with my emotions because on one hand, like, I understood Jupiter, why she was the way that she was. But man, she was mouthy and she got on my nerves. She always had something to say. Oh my God. I was like, please, can somebody just slap her? No, we're not slapping her. Fine. Whatever. So, you know, like, but I, I understood. I understood. I understood when things were revealed about who her, her parents were. I understood. But still, she was still this. She was still this thief. She was still this, this person who just did not care. She just, she didn't have a redeeming quality. There was just, there was just none. But this story, is it about the brotherhood? Yes. Is it about finding your own family, making your own family? Yes. Does bad things happen? Yes. Does some sexy things happen? Yes. It was some sexy times in this book right here. Let me tell you, it was sexy. But what I took away from this story, what I took around, took from it was that no matter how big and bad you are, no matter what your family looks like, when you don't have family and you create your own family, you love harder. You love harder and you want to protect those that you love. And when those that you love betray you, it's like the worst. And so I took from this, from the Legion of Kings, I took that it was a story of family. 
that it was a story of love. It was a story of loss. It was a story of how freaking corrupt can one government agency be? It was a story of this is what life looks like for these kids that end up in these foster care systems. So it wasn't a nice and neat and tidy story because I don't believe that Danielle James does nice and neat and tidy. She does messy and in your face and she gonna make you feel some type of way type of stories. And I am here for it. And she did that with Legion of Kings. It was well written. It did, it had some funny moments. It had moments where I was just like, damn it. And it had moments where I was like, oh, snap. But I thoroughly enjoyed this book. I enjoyed the story, the journey of these two people who had such similar issues, such similar background, find each other and try to figure out their family. So I think you should read this book. I think you should read Legion of Kings by Danielle James so that you could feel some type of way. Because I know I did. I felt some type of way. I cheered it, but I also wanted to just throw punch people too. So I love when I have some type of emotion or visceral reaction to a book. And this book will, will have you feeling some type of way or having some type of reaction to it. So that's my review of Legion of Kings by Danielle James. She is an amazing writer i mean just her stories fyi they are not for the squeamish they are not for the i just want everybody to be in love and be happy that if that's for you this ain't your book but if you want grimy if you want to cheer for the bad guy if you want to just be like oh my god what's next then this book is for you again that's legion of kings by daniel james so until next time read a good book Hehehehe <laughs>